for people in our area. Yeah, it's a little dense in some locations. Others kind of dealing with some low visibility. We go down a less than a mile, mile and a half to uh, almost just about zero in some locations. Half mile now presented in Barnwell and in Jenkins County, Screven County, Millen, all the way into uh, Sylvania. You're looking at less than a mile of visibility here. So this is where we really have some of the dense fog, but you head west. Thompson's beginning to drop a little bit more, less than two miles there, a mile and a half, four miles in Aiken. So we get the picture going into South Carolina, coming into Georgia along the Savannah River Bridge. Hard to see right now, so be real, real careful as we go through the next couple of hours. Just shy of the 60 degree mark, it's just kind of an early morning fog and low cloud presence, which won't last a whole long time here. But between 8 and 9 o'clock, we'll start shaping up nicely. Driving in what's going to be a big warm up toward the end of the week here. First couple days of May. May the first under the way right now, and we're expecting some more heat to build through the end of the week here. Green Jackets continue their series with the River Dogs. Had an early one yesterday. Had some rain around right after lunchtime there. We're looking at 7.05. Rain certainly not expected to be much of an issue at all. Around first pitch there at 7 p.m. Temperatures are in the low 80s and 70s finish off the game there. 62 Aiken. Keep it in mind, a lot of dense fog developing in our southeast counties. 60 to 66 into Allendale, Sylvania. Upper 50s in Thompson, Crawfordville. About that 58, 59 mark. But there's above average temperatures on the way for the rest of the week and in leading into next week. We're going to be very, very close to what could be almost a 90 degree high into Thursday and Friday. And it just continues to look very warm all the way from Texas into the Carolinas. Certainly some of the warmest spots that we're going to be looking at leading into the first week and a half of May. West Coast, complete opposite, definitely on the cooler trend there. But the pollen meter stays high until we finally get a little relief. There's going to be some rain involved in our weekend outlook. That may bring that down a little bit more here. Maybe about a half inch inch of rainfall projected here into the weekend at times with those scattered storms. So you can look, it's definitely a little bit more favored 40 to 50% chance for that rainfall into Saturday and Sunday here. So that'd be kind of a good thing here. Rain yesterday, storms were isolated. Now we're systems moving offshore out of the low country there in Charleston, kind of east of the Charleston area with some morning storms. Starting off with 50s and 60s. Again, some areas dealing with dense fog, but we're opening up the skies. More heat building middle 80s this afternoon. So above average at 83, 86 mark into 5 p.m. The morning lows tomorrow morning and Friday morning will look just like they do today. 50s and low 60s and then back up into the middle and upper 80s. Real, real close between about 3 and 4 o'clock to about 88, almost 90 degrees. Keep it in mind that Friday is going to look very similar here. So we're above average looking at that mostly sunny sky after the dense fog kind of moves out of here for this morning. Heat stays with us a lot during that seven day stretch. We get a little drop low to mid 80s into the weekend with our chance of showers and storms kind of influencing maybe a little bit of a cool down from time to time. But 85 to 90 driving it back in there into next week on Monday and Tuesday. 516.